creating holes in any object uh, can be easy and there are a number of ways to do it one way of doing it is using extrude cut okay so basically you have a sketch let's say this is the hole you want to create okay just use go to the features you have extrude cut let's say you want to cut to 10 millimeters point click okay that's one way of doing it another way is already given here in the name of hole wizard okay uh, using this you can create the holes automatically even the holes will have different types and standards are also saved here. if you click on this upside down triangle you will see the threaded one advanced hole and just the hole wizard okay all the things together so if you select the hole wizard you will see a left property manager here which has a long, long list of things you can explore okay so the first thing there are nine different type of hole types that you can play with like this is the counter bore one the counter sink one just a simple one uh, you will have a straight tap here you have a tapered one so it's basically a little angled on the point here you have this legacy hole where which you can use to customize your shapes and so on and so forth so you have a different number of ones and if you want to select them from any standards you have the standards so based on what standard you're looking for based on your work you can select the ones you need let's say if you want to go for iso one it will show you the list of different types of you know, for the same uh, uh, same whole type you have selected so if you have selected countersink you will see different types of them for the countersink right for the ISO standard, if you go for let's say this one, the tap straight tap one, you will see different options for that one also. Okay, um, so let's say for this example, we're going to use the countersink. Um, let's say you are using NC metric and you have a flat head screw that you want to use. Next is from the standard list, you will also be given that hey what size you want to use and it's going to de depend on what standard and what type you're using let's say i'm going to use an m4 and what type of fit you want a close fit loose fit a, no a normal fit whatever you like let's keep it normal you can also change the shape of it by selecting the show custom sizing and also by selecting uh, through all so basically this is similar to what you had on the extruded boss and base where you can select as a length or through all from one end to another uh, to up till a vertex or to a surface or offset from a surface all those options you have here okay and it, this is here uh, what you have for those holes what how what type of tolerance you want okay uh, so let's say once you have decided what type of you want let's say i'm gonna give it a blind here and let's say make the whole length uh, to let's say 10 millimeters so, okay once you have done so you need to position it somewhere right so you will go on top here and select this tab called positions okay and select this 3d sketch and then just make sure where you want to put that hole and that's it as you can see it has created the hole there if i've selected this and through all you would have seen it going all the way to the bottom but again we're only go going to make it black uh, and select the size because the screws you will be using usually for this type of shapes are have a limited length right unless you're using something custom and once you're done with this click ok and there you have it okay the shape of a screw head and waste